secret service agencies of any government. They exercised considerable power within the Roman Empire that the emperor had no choice but to disband the organization, even if only to save face. Yet the memory of an extensive network of secret police haunted Rome's domains for centuries after the empire's collapse. The Byzantine historian Procopius, who wrote in the 500s during the reign of Emperor Justinian, wrote a controversial court history in the 6th century, but never published it for fear the secret police would claim his life. The account was filled with sex scandals and intrigue during the reigns of Emperor Justinian and Empress Theodora, in particular graphic descriptions of Theodora's early life as a circus performer and prostitute. He only published his account posthumously for fear of the emperor's spies. He wrote, You see, it was not possible during the life of certain persons to write the truth of what they did, he means Justinian and Theodora, as a historian should. If I had, their hordes of spies would have found out about it and they would have put me to a most horrible death. If the purpose of the Frumentari was to maintain social order, it was a wildly successful program, at least in the beginning of the program, before it became corrupted and just shook people down for bribes. Scholars and public officials across the former Roman world practiced self-censorship centuries after they disbanded, and there are few things that a government loves much more than self-censorship among citizens. They were a symbol for the shadowy power of the Roman elite. They destroyed any dissent or political intrigue as much as they could. No province was free of their long reach. It could strangle any threat to imperial power, at least when they were operating to the best of their abilities, and they were able to reach the threat before it got out of control. So this was not an insignificant feat for a few hundred wheat farmers. All right, well, that's all for this two-part series on Spycraft in the Ancient World. I am always open to your suggestions, and I would love to hear them from you if you would like me to do another series like this. All right, well, thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check out this show. First of all, I'd like to thank the Knowlton's Rangers, and especially our spy masters, Baron Fraser, Carl from Norway, Chris from Maine, Moon Doggy from Ohio, Vic and Irene, and Rick Knowlton. And I'll explain what that means in a second. If you like this show, please like and subscribe on the podcast listener of your choice. Join our Facebook page as well. You can find it if you just search for History Unplugged. And one of the best ways you can help out the show is if you join the Knowlton's Rangers. The Knowlton's Rangers were an elite reconnaissance and espionage detachment of the Continental Army in the Revolutionary War. But it's also the name of the History Unplugged membership program. Learn how to join by going to patreon.com slash unplugged. So here's what you get if you become one of the Knowlton's Rangers. If you join at the level of Scout, you can get early access to new podcast episodes, along with enjoying absolutely every single episode of the History Unplugged podcast, ad-free. All 270 and counting episodes. If you join at the level of Intelligence Officer, you can also get access to premium episodes, like a multi-part series on the life of Audie Murphy, the most decorated combat soldier in World War II, or the 10-part series Ottoman Lives, a series that looks at the cast of characters that made up the Ottoman Empire, such as the Sultan, the Eunuch, the Harem Servant Girl, and the Soldier. And finally, if you join at the level of Spy Master, you get all the same stuff as the scouts and intelligence officers, but you also get a shout out to you and or your business at the end of each episode, a three pack of hardcover history books, plus you will be put at the very front of the line for me to answer your question about history, and I can guarantee I will dedicate an episode that's about an hour long or so to your question. Sign up at patreon.com slash unplugged. Again, that's Patreon dot com slash unplugged. Anyway, those are the ways you can help out the show. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for listening to the History Unplugged podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the show to get your daily dose of all things history related from ancient Greece to the Cold War. We'll see you next time at the History Unplugged podcast.